Call Me By Your Name nos hizo conocer masivamente a Luca Guadagnino y terminó de consolidar una carrera en ascenso como la de Timo Chichalamet. Hablé con Walter Fasano, el editor de esta película del 2017, sobre cómo fue ver la química en cada una de las tomas diarias que él iba cortando, una película que originalmente iba a durar tres horas y terminó durando 50 minutos menos. Y también hablamos sobre cómo fue cortar ese monólogo tan hermoso de Michael Stuhlberg a Timo Chichalamet hacia el final de la película. Todo esto en este informe sobre Call Me By Your Name. We now return to Mira Akian and Contre with our latest interview. In this particular case, since day one, also because they were almost basically shooting the movie in sequence from the beginning to the end, uh, I already saw that something very special was happening. I can show you around. That'd be great. Thank you. All the references that Luca was discussing uh, with all of us and specifically French cinema of the 80s, was really a kind of uh, working reference and something was deeply shining in the materials, in the light, in the acting, in the precision of the shoot and the Lucas uh, view. And so basically I told him, uh, I think this stuff is gold, this stuff is great, from the very beginning. Oh, to see without my eyes And the editing itself was, uh, I would say, quite uh, easy, uh, even if we spent some time after the first draft to refine things. It was three hours, but now the movie is uh, two hours and ten, so basically it's around 50 minutes. There, are, there were a couple of scenes, two or three things, scenes that were unuseful, and there were some passages that were belonging more to the structure of the narration of the novel than of the movie. Also a confrontation scene between the parents about uh, what was happening to Elio that was suggesting the, the idea that parents knew. It was just a, a little more detail about the thing, do they know or they don't know, that is more, uh, in Italy we say sfumato, is quite clear But, but not said in uh, uh, vivid colors and underlined. Yeah. And uh, there was also a little bit of sensuality in between them. But uh, as usually it happens in the editing, we decided that uh, those things were not useful to, to the specific film, film that was uh, taking shape in, in the editing room. We think we had found the right balance uh, between storytelling and lounging in the summer atmosphere. So what do you do around here? Read books, transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. Sounds fun. All the actors were in state of grace, sincerely speaking. You could see that uh, they, they had got a connection and they respected each other very much and uh, they liked each other and uh, everything worked uh, perfectly. Build your walls around What things that matter? You know what thing? I think that everybody met in Crema um, no more than uh, one week before the beginning of the shoot, sincerely speaking. As far as I know, Luca is not the kind of director who is deeply into a long uh, period of uh, rehearsals and explaining the motivations of actors. He's the best in creating uh, situations. He moved to Crema a few years before shooting there. So he felt completely at home and he knew how to mm, uh, make the beauty of the, of the landscape and of that part of, of Italy shine on the screen. So basically no, no rehearsals, so not that much rehearsals, but creating a group and an atmosphere. Nature has cunning ways of finding our weakest spot. Just remember I'm here. Regarding to that specific sequence, I can tell you that it's uh, Luca with the wonderful writing on Andrea Sim of Andrea Siman, with the wonderful performance of Michael Stuhlberg and also Timothy, even if in that scene is more listening than doing things. And basically he just shot three takes on Michael uh, with slightly different modulations of the monologue, one more intense, one that is the one that is in the movie and one even a little more colder, I would say. Look, you had a beautiful friendship. Maybe more than a friendship. And I envy you. Basically, the idea of Luca was 
I would just have four cuts in this scene, not more than that. You must let Michael flow and Michael shine. And that's what we did. So basically, my job was very easy. I just insisted in cutting a couple of lines of the monologue uh, that, in my opinion, made it a little longer. But basically, I had uh, gold in my hand.